well, here I find myself once again, staring into the camera, asking the same basic question. How have we failed in passing the Christian faith on to the next generation? Scores of young people are leaving the faith, leaving the church, many of whom who they've been raised in Christian homes, been raised in the church, some perhaps even attended Christian schools. And yet once they turn into adults and leave home, they say adios, au revoir to the church, to the Christian faith. Or perhaps even worse, even worse are those who still claim to be Christians, still claim to have a personal relationship with Jesus, but then live lives, choose lifestyles that are completely contradictory to biblical morality. And yet they see no conflict in that. They seem to exhibit a form of spiritual cognitive dissonance. Now, obviously there can be many different reasons. We live in an affluent society, the effects of social media, the fact that we live in a modern culture where moral relativism rules. But perhaps the greatest reason, and feel free to disagree with me, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But perhaps the greatest reason is that we haven't been teaching church youth true Christianity, but instead we have been teaching them spiritualism. In other words, we've taught them to be spiritual, but not religious. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with that term, it's become quite popular in the last few years when pollsters are conducting surveys over large swaths of society, and they're, they ask people their religious affiliations. Many are increasingly marking off the box. It says spiritual, but not religious. And while that can sound all trendy and enlightened and open-minded and all, when you boil it down, what people are really meaning is that they don't want any religious dogma interfering with how they live their lives. So why then are so many of today's church youth adopting that mindset? Well, obviously there's the influence of the culture at large, but dare I say, the main reason is because that's what they've been hearing from the pulpit most of their lives. You see, for many in my age bracket, and although I can't say that it was my own personal experience, but for many of my age bracket and older, they had been raised with a very formal kind of Christianity, where it was all about knowing the right rules, the right doctrines, the right theology, being able to recite the right Bible verses. So it was very formal and not much emphasis upon the one whom all that stuff was pointing towards. But then there was a movement in the church where there was a great emphasis upon the personal, upon the experiential, upon knowing the one whom all that stuff was pointing towards. And that was all great. But as the saying goes of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, many then began and still are rejecting the importance of knowing the right things about Christianity rejecting knowing the right Christian doctrines of having good solid theology, but instead just emphasize the experiential. Now, of course, many in my age group and beyond can afford to do that because they're living off of the capital of their, their upbringing, as formal and as dry as that may have been, those, that theological framework still operates in the background, but not so their children. And there are so many churches these days have essentially ceased teaching the importance of knowing sound theology, knowing sound doctrine, but instead just emphasize the experiential, that Jesus is your best friend, and that about sums up the Christian faith. So no wonder so many church youth are not coming back to church. No wonder so many of them are walking away from the Christian faith because we've taught them how to be spiritual, but not religious.